Gary! Hey, that little four horsepower Yamaha is awesome, bro. Is it? Awesome. All right. Guys, that is Gary from the Boat Center. And those of you guys that follow my channel religiously, you guys know that I'm doing the dinghy series. And I just upgraded to a four horsepower uh, Yamaha and I got it from his shop, which is called the Boat Center here in Miami. So it's been a, it's been a very fun uh, series. If you haven't seen it, it's uh, it's kind of cool because I'm, I'm navigating in the back waters and all the channels here in Miami and seeing some houses that are just on another level. It's like million nothing, guys. These are multi-million dollar homes here in Miami. So, wow, look at this boat. This CV is decked out, ready to go. Uh-oh. Cool. Dímelo! Thank you, bro. I love that little Novorania, man. That's a great boat. You guys gonna have have a good time, hang out today? Yeah. It is an awesome boat. You guys, listen for that size and the comfort and the things you can do on a boat that size. That's all you need, bro. And you're not spending a lot of gas like all these people right now. You're gonna spend thirty bucks today to be out on the water. Some people are gonna spend hundreds. You guys enjoy yourself. It's going to be busy out there, so be safe. Yeah. Little Novorania, guys. Um, great boats. Um, used as tenders for bigger boats on, on a lot of yachts, right? The sun just barely came up, guys. Ooh, this afternoon is going to be a chit show. We did have some weather yesterday as far as rain, but um, scattered, scattered, right? So as long as we start getting closer to, to summer, those scattered uh, thunder showers start coming in. Wow, this boat is sitting super low. What is this? Damn. You can't go reverse with that thing, bro. I mean, you could, but you're gonna get a lot of water back there. What, what the hell? What? What is going? Why? Oh, maybe this guy's sinking. Holy shoot! This boat is sink. The drain plug was not on. Wow! What an epic error, dude. No wonder. You you better pull that thing out. Wow! Sinking at the boat ramp, bro. I just, I literally just started. Well, they'll build it out now. Cuño, tremendo epic mistake. Wow. Well. Let's see if they if they want to verify what had happened. So Hughes. Oh boy. He just saw it. He was like, damn it. What the hell just happened, bro? I'm on it. I think I know this guy. Don't run from me, bro. Hey, you forgot to put the drain plug? Fucking rookie. Bro. I got, I got it on camera, so you'll have something to remember forever. Yeah, for sure. Hey, but you got lucky. Bilge that thing out of there. Bilge it. All right, well. My suspicions were correct, my friends. Oh, fruit Montaner saw it happening. Guys, you gotta you gotta kinda look at the scenarios. One mistake and you're bloop 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 bloop. Speaking of mistakes, I made a huge mistake by leaving um Key Biscayne in <laughs> some rough stuff in that dinghy, bro. I was I was uh I was like, damn bro, I don't I don't wanna come back, I don't wanna go around. I, I could have gone a longer route and it would have been much safer. But yeah, man, what a mistake, dude. It was so rough. I actually live streamed it. It was kind of crazy. I looked like a pirate. It was weird. It's just, oh my goodness. All right, let's go continue. We got so many boats coming in, guys. I do anticipate the boat ramp gonna be closed early today because once there is no more parking, that's it. There's no, um, you can't come in. You can't come in, you can't launch, even if you're not gonna park the, tr the, the, the boat here.
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no, dog! <laughs> Damn it. There goes. Damn it. Just when I was going to go ahead and say, all you need, guys, is a little boat, and boom. What happened, dude? Almost took out the trolling motor. What? What happened, bro? Come here, bro. Come here, bro. I was just going to talk good about you. like, I asked it right there, bro. I was like, Coño, whatever it takes, you're on a little canoe, you got your friend with you, you're going to go fish, and boom, you almost take out the trolling motor, bro. I just got back from vacation, bro. Well, listen, catch some fish and make it up. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, hey, put your motor down too, bro. You're dale, no hay cojones. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. This is the chit show, guys. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> What is going on here? Are we getting invaded? Oh man, look at this monster. Oh, it's the Coleman. It's the Coleman cooler boat. No, is that the Coleman cooler boat? I think it is, guys. I think it is. Wait, wait, wait. It's the Coleman Cooler Boat. Guys, whatever it takes, bro. You see, I need to do a dinghy cereal on that boat, bro. You guys want me to do a sea trial? I'll make it happen. Wow, the Coleman Cooler for the win, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a great day, bro. Was that Anthony? I thought I heard Anthony. Hold on, hold on, guys. Let me see you. Wait, yeah, that is Anthony. Where'd he go? Oh, he's hiding back there. I'll catch him now. I want to see what's up with Fred. I have gotten, I, I have gotten, um, people telling me that they've seen Fred. So that's kind of good, right? You know? Uh-oh, we got the wild bunch shot killing. What? You're on today? Bro, I was just talking smack about that body like, and you just threw that sentry right in front of me. Hey, hey catch, catch some fish, bro. Bring me back some fish. This is the wild bunch. <laughs> all right, all right, come on, let's see. Do we have the Coleman? Bloop, 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 bloop. What is it? What's powering it? This, this, this is, this is what I'm, this is what I live for, guys. Oh, don't do it, bro. Don't get close to that slippery ramp. Well, we already know the Coleman has a weight rating of probably a thousand for sure. What's up, guys? We watch your YouTube all the time. Thanks, bro. Hey, be safe out there, man. All right, all right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn it, these noceums are crazy, bro. Let me see if this guy has a drain plug on this, or how does this, if there is no drain plug, guys. Straight styrofoam. Um, I don't know which public sells this down here, but, uh, so I got the I got Dude, I want to ride this thing. I really do. I would love. Can you imagine me going through the back channels of uh, all the places we've been on the dinghy series on a little Coleman cooler? I effing love this. I want to see the trailer. They, ha they have to have like a. They just have to have like a regular type of trailer. Oh boy.
hold on guys hold on i, I want to see i want to see this right this this is this is this this type of stuff fascinates me right because it shows you know innovation without a i don't know just the human mind you know when uh, you have a desire to go ahead and do something boom you make it happen wait for it oh no let's see let's see They're, where do they tie off he he did he did he put it on did he put the rope on the on the motor all right ooh The coolers in the water, guys. I told you. I love this. I love this. Lo Me encanta. Quiero, quiero caminar en ese bote. Oh boy. She's trying to help out, but she doesn't realize the motor is not in the water. Oh boy. Oh man. When he figures out what's going on, when he sees this video, you are gonna, you're gonna pay for. Oh, there she is. There she is. There she is. I was gonna say that's that's gonna be a uh, three Yamaha impeller uh, removal. She got it. She got it. We have here loggerhead also. Loggerhead, Suntex, I don't know. They never put a name on it again, guys. I think I think we're just going to call it, I don't know. Should we call it something? Should we call it, you know? I don't know. Maybe, I, you know what? We're just going to let it be what it is. If it doesn't want to be named, it won't be named. Forget about it. <sighs> I, I just want to see, I just want to see this, bro. You you know, this, this right here is going to be the best part of my day. This... Well, I'm sure crazier things will happen, but I've been wanting to get this cooler filmed, right? Coming out and coming in, and at least from this angle. All right, let's see the procedure. Let's see the procedure, guys. I, I always say whatever it takes, right? Boom, just, oh, not yet, not started, but we got, we got it, it's coming. Okay, so here's what happens, right? So sometimes on these small little engines, so you guys know because I know a lot of people are starting to buy little engines because they've been seeing the series. Sometimes you shut down the fuel of the engine, right? So that you don't leave fuel in the carburetor. So there's a little shutoff valve that'll let you burn whatever fuel it has. And then you have to prime up the very next time you start. And that's probably what's happening right now. Oh, yeah? He's our neighbor. Nice. Yeah, bro. You know, she did a good job starting the motors, but they were out of the water, and I was like, uh-oh, put it back in the water, but she got it. Yeah, that's the way you learn. That's the way you learn. Hey, what are you guys, you guys with the food shack? Is that who you guys with? It's a friend of ours. Okay. Nice. Enjoy yourselves, guys. Oh, so they just bought that boat, guys. Dímelo, ¿cómo que volón? ¿Qué hay de bueno, bro? ¿Me va a traer pescado o cerveza? Está bueno el día. Mire, 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 mire. Ni hay, ni hay una bota de, de viento. I'm telling you guys, there's not an ounce of wind. <laughs> there's not an ounce of wind, guys. It's gonna, it's gonna be so wild. Oh, dude, come on, come on, come on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. This is what we're here for. 
and they have departed. They wait for it. Oh no. Oh no. Bro, this guy has. Look at this. Okay, so that's another thing about the little Mercury's that a lot of people don't know, right? Your reverse, you actually literally have to reverse the entire. You have to turn around the whole engine. It doesn't have like a reverse. Bro. Bro, yo quiero, yo quiero estar en ese botecito un día, bro. Yo te digo de verdad, yo quiero salir con ustedes un día. I told them, I go, bro, one day I want to go and I want to be on that boat with you guys. It looks like a little 2.5, guys. I can't tell behind the camera, but it looks like a little 2.5. And I have one of those 2.5s and one of the things that I don't care too much about is that it doesn't have a reverse. So the way that you reverse like that, you just literally, the tiller arm, you kind of like pull it up and then turn the, the entire engine around. Um, which could get kind of weird if, if you're not too um, used to driving a tiller, right? But they're off, guys. Uh-oh. Tranquilo, Ori. Tranquilo. Slow down, man. Oh, my, sh my feet are going to get wet for sure, bro. 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 Why, bro? All right, guys. Let's see what, let's see, let's see what he does to everybody else's boat. Ready? It was so peaceful and calm. Well, here it's here. All right, guys, good guys, garage doors and motors. I, you see, I always give props to these guys. Um, they come over here to the boat ramp with their work trucks because that tells me a couple things. Either they're small business owners and, um, and they come out here to have a good time and I can relate to that, I can respect that, right? So check them out if you guys need a garage door motor or I guess maybe they probably do repairs too. I don't know, comment in the comment section if that's what you do, bro. Well, I need somebody in a U-Haul truck to just come over here and bloop, 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 bloop. A big one, a big U-Haul truck, maybe like a, one of those 30-footers or something. Here's somebody coming in. Oh, there's gonna be people already coming back from, from Boca Chita and all that stuff and Elliot Key that probably camped out. She just said, we're on the chicho. Wait for it. No, no, no. Not yet, not yet, guys. It's too early. Maybe not. You never know. Nah, I don't think. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suspect I'll wait for it right now. But we always have our wait for it's ready, just in case. They're in little boxes that are about to be opened. Oh, this guy's coming in. Ooh, nice little 
skip a roo there, but the other, the other guy's coming out, so it's good. Pole of Faith. Oh, this mount was amazing. I would say an 8 of a 10. What do you, what do you guys think? Uh-oh. Oh, she hurt her knee on that one, guys. Damn it. Oh, man. Always blame it on the men, guys. Ladies, always blame it on the men. She, um... I don't, know, I don't think she'll be in the 2028 Olympics, guys. Se jodio, pobrecita. Damn it. You know your knee's hurting right now. She's watching that video saying, yeah, it does kind of hurt still. Blame it on the man. I've learned in life, all you just say is, honey, you're right. Yes, babe, yes. My wife the other day, she got me good, bro. She got me good. I forgot what... Anything to just to be on the opposite side of her, right? It's like it just one of these ongoing things that married people do. It's like uh, just she picks A, I'm like automatically pick B, even though I know A is the answer, right? I'm like, nah, don't be acting crazy, bro. It's B. And then you fight for B the whole time. She got me good, though, bro. I'm still hurting. Little two-stroke getting a, getting a little bit of uh, love over here at the boat ramp. Damn, there's so many people coming out today, guys. It's going to be a crazy day, to say the least. Little Mako. This is a nice looking boat. Sportsman in the house. Wow, it's got a big motor. I mean, it's, it's always better to go bigger if you can, right? Because when you need it, you're gonna really appreciate it, right? So that same boat can probably be fine with a 200, but um, if you have a little bit of weight and people and you know, you'll, you'll, you'll see it out that instance, so. If you ever have a salesman trying to sell you on the underside only because he's trying to meet your financing or whatever, press him, right? Press him a little bit and be like, hey, listen, bro. I'm, I'm planning on gaining weight. <laughs> I know I'm 350 now, but I'm, I'm going up to 400. And uh, I'm gonna have to bring at least six to 10 pounds of uh, burgers with me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's see if he's seen the crocodile. Wow, that little Hobie hauls ass. That thing is moving, bro. Guys, that's a pedal kayak, so. There's, there's, there's not a little propeller there. It's, it's, it's their own system. That's basically two, two arms going sideways. And uh, damn, I'm surprised how fast he was going. You know, a day like this also a lot of the husbands will come out early and they'll wait for their friends and family to come because they expect the boat ramp to be closed because why not look at all the boats back there right so and like i said when there's no parking that's it you're out of gas you you and then what happens is everybody starts scrambling to all the other marinas so every other marina close by will start running and running and running. Where there's an app down here in Miami that 
that has um, that notifies you when the boat ramps are are closed. If you go to MiamiDade.gov, it's on there as well. Little flats boat. Today's a great day to be out on the on the water, guys. There's no wind. Uh, speaking about on the water, I was actually in uh, the Keys. I went to the Keys and I did some snorkeling with the family. The Aiden uh, turned 16 and one of the things he wanted to do was to go snorkeling. So we got on one of those uh, charter boats over there in Key Largo and it was cool. Morning. What's up guys? How you guys doing, man? You guys gonna go fishing or just hanging out? Spear? Yes, sir. Oh man, bring me back a hogfish. Right, Speaking of that, so so while we were in Key Largo, um, beautiful guys. Let, let me tell you something. The coral reefs in Key Largo are absolutely breathtaking. And um, there were some older folks over there, and I'll tell you, they enjoyed it. You know, very uh, very well planned company. I did it with a company called Sundiver. Um, and guys, I'm not getting paid or anything from them. I just thought that they, they ran a, a, a good ship, right? Um, so they took us out to a reef over there and not, not far from Penny Camp National Park. And we snorkeled. And it was beautiful. I, I'll actually, you know, I'll drop a little bit of footage on here of some of the stuff that I saw. But it was, it was, it was real, real cool. And hogfish, there's a place called Craig's in, uh, is it Isla Morada? Yeah, I think it's Isla Morada. So we had lunch over there in Craig's and I love the fish sandwich that they have there. So I got me a, but normally I get the hogfish sandwich. You know, they let you upgrade to different fish and, and they didn't have the hogfish. And I was like, why? And like, she was like, honey, we, we, we haven't had hogfish in a couple days. So, so I got grouper instead. It was still awesome, but the hogfish fish sandwich, oh my goodness. It's their fish sandwich, right? Definitely want to stop in there. It's called Craig's. It's just past Tavernier um, into, and it's a, it's a nice little cozy place, right? It's, it's nothing too extravagant, but it's nice, clean. Uh-oh, I hear the, I just heard the, I know, babe, I know, babe. Mm -mm, somebody's getting pressed at the boat ramp. Nothing like ruining a family, guys. Like taking your significant other with you to the boat ramp. It starts off great. And then... Oh, no, 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 no. Be careful, young lady. All right. Let's go and see if it's going to be a good or a bad day here on 10. Come on, Dad. You got this. You said you know. I know, babe. I know. I heard it. Wait for it. Watch, 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 Wait for it. Oh boy. We got a sea tracer over here having a problem. Oh man, this guy has... Hold on, guys. There's two for one over here. Uh-oh, there's no trust. He's... He doesn't trust. Oh boy. I got this, honey. Aguantate, mi amor. I got this. Dad comes to save the boat today and everything else. Round of applause for Dad. Hey, it's almost Father's Day soon, so um, I expect a nice Father's Day um, gesture on my co community tab. This is the little two-stroke that was having an issue bro slow down bro come on man i am gonna give him a pass only because i know that he's having engine problems and he has to have it idled high if not it's gonna turn off right so i'm gonna give him a pass you got a chit show pass oh, never mind i take my pass back my feet are wet Damn it. 
another little two stroke a lot of two strokes out here today i'm wondering if my dinghy you know two stroke motors are lighter than than the four strokes in in, in many cases right i wonder oh boy oh man this guy's having a race here what's going on here bro another two stroke so what, what I was gonna say I gotta run again from the water again um, I wonder if a lighter two stroke engine will do better on my dinghy that would be interesting right mean I can't tie who's who the who's who this is a regular here guys at the boat ramp you guys gonna go fishing or just hanging out? You gonna go fishing? We're gonna try a little and bring me back something. Who's who in the house? So guys, um, on days like this, you can go open ocean and not really have any worries, right? Because it's gonna be pretty calm. Now, what you do have to be mindful of is those rogue thunderstorms that just happen. But you, the good thing about being in the water, you'll see them, right? You'll see everything coming towards you, or you'll see them on a distance, in most cases. Not in all cases, because your visibility is pretty good. So you kind of can run from it. This is an Avanti 36. Nice looking boat. We have a push off. Oh boy. Little Yama coming out. Well, guys, I want to thank you guys for joining me at the Chicho. I know, I know, so many new people coming from the dinghy series, guys. Stick around. We do a lot of boat uh, ramp commentary. It's crazy here on the Chicho. So check out the playlist. Alfred Montaner making a scene as always. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it.